A 9-patch rect control allows you to keep the proportions of the corners and sides intact while allowing the inner area to be stretched. This is useful if you want a scalable, custom textured panel in your game. My tip in regards to this control is to be conscious of the size you're making your 9-patch rect texture as it will restrict the size your control can be in your game. For example, here we have two 9-patch rects. They might look identical, but the first has a texture of size 64 by 64 pixels and the other one 16 by 16 pixels. Both have the same corner radius and both have the same patch margin of 8 pixels on all sides. Just want to quickly mention that if you're working with pixel art, make sure you have imported the textures with filter off, otherwise they will look like this. Now if you resize the 64 pixel 9 patch rect, you can see that the corners are intact. But this is when we increase the size. If we would make the control less than 64 pixels, you can see that the corners get warped. If we do the same thing with the 16 pixel 9 patch rect, it will behave the same way when we increase the size, but has the added benefit of being able to become less than 64 pixels without warping all the way down to 16 pixels, which is limited by the patch margin size. This might have been obvious to some, but I thought I'd share it either way. If I got stuck on this, maybe it can be helpful for someone else. The tip is to make your textures as small as possible, giving you as much flexibility when building your controls. Thanks for watching.